Hey guys, quick look at Darlington pairs um, with germanium transistors and why you'd want to do it and what you should look out for. Um, just, a, just a brief overview. If you've got a couple of low gain transistors and you've got no other use for them, you can use them for this. They have to be, there's a, there's a few caveats, we'll go into that um, in a moment. Um, so just, just briefly before we look at it as well, if you don't know why you'd want to do this, um, maybe you're new to fuzz, fuzz circuits, it's a good idea to stick with certain HFEs um, when you build a fuzz, a fuzz circuit. You don't have to, of course, but the HFE does play a big role in how the actual effect sounds. So, you know, um, that kind of kind of opens up an argument where some people will say HFE, it's not that important, blah blah blah. Um, it does have an effect on how it actually sounds. If you like the sound of low gain fuzz faces, that's great. Um, but it doesn't sound, yeah, but low gain won't sound the same as recommended HFE and recommended HFE won't sound the same as as really high gain um, transistors. So just things to consider anyway. So if you, if you want to turn two very low gain, basically unusable transistors into something that's very usable, then you can do this particular configuration. And you put them in a Darlington pair, which is this. So you can see two, two PMP transistors kind of tied together um, in that sort of configuration. So just look up on Google Images if you want to see the NPN version or if you want to get, a, uh, get that up on your screen and follow it. Um, yeah, that's what, that's what you do. You get, you get two, you time together. And what is the advantage? Well, when you do it in that, in that configuration, you get, um, you get one, one transistor times the second transistor's gain. So the gain of one transistor times the next one. Um, so if you've got a gain of 10 for one and 10 for the next transistor and you times those two together, you'll end up with 100. If you've got 20 and 20, you'll end up with 400, um, et cetera, et cetera. So you can see that it goes up exponent, exponent, exponentially. Um, and things like 40 HFE, 50, 60, that's kind of getting outside the territory. Well, it's getting a lot outside the territory. It's getting very, that's, that's very, very high gain. So that stuff, that stuff won't work. Um, you really probably, you, like I was saying before, um, just because it's, you could, get, you could get 215 HFE transistors, put them together and end up with 300 HFE, put it in your fuzz face and listen to it. If you, if you like the sound of it, then you've, then you've accomplished your mission. If you don't like the sound of it, then you need to change things. Um, uh, it's, it's important to follow HFE to get a fuzz face sound if you want a fuzz face sound. If you are open to suggestion as far as how things sound, then you can just do whatever the hell you want. And that's, that's, like, that's kind of the rule book that I follow. Just do whatever the hell I want until I get it to sound the way that I want it to sound. Um, so anyway, you just you, you just just experiment. I've put I think I had one that was about 400 HFE, and again, doesn't sound like a fuzz face, but it still sounds pretty good. It sounds like a germanium distortion, pretty much. Um, it, it it sounded good, and and actually, I'm fairly certain that that is. No, I am certain that that is what that pair is. I did this a couple of months ago, so I'm just trying to remember offhand, but I'm I'm sure that that is what that pair is. I think it's around 400 H HFE. Um, we'll have a listen to that um, shortly and, and, and you, can, you can see what it sounds like. You can do this, before, we, before I go on any further with that particular configuration, you can do this to get ideal gains. If you've got transistors that are 12 HFE each or you know, anywhere 10 to 15, you know, 15 being on the higher end, um, a 10 and a 15, um, you know, that would sound pretty good. So the caveat is to watch out for leakage because leakage also times together. So if you've got, so, so they need to fit into that bucket. They need to have low gain, very, very low gain, you know, 10 HFE is quite low and very low gain, uh, very uh, low leakage. You're a little, you got a little bit more room to play with the leakage because, you know, anywhere up to 400 
you know, it starts to get a little bit temperature sensitive, but you can compensate that with a bias trimmer anyway. Um, so you can get away with it up to 400. So 400, you're looking at what, 200 times, uh, 20 times 20. Um, so there's a little bit more room for that. But with the HFE, you're probably gonna wanna hang around 10, 15 max, uh, 15 HFE that is, of course. Um, so yeah, that's that's how you do it. You just you just solder them together. I actually made a I made a PCB um, prototype the other day. I'm actually waiting for those to come in. Uh, I need to test it first. Um, but I'll put a link up. It's a free. It's a free. It's it's with H uh, OSH Park, so you can just get them fabricated for yourself. I don't charge for those. It's just a free thing for you guys. You can you can jumper. I've got a trim pot on there and I'm pretty sure it's on the uh, emitter, but I need to do a bit more testing with that. It's all new information at the moment. You know, I'm not going to go into too much detail here because it could change um, once, I've, once I've tested the prototype. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'll put the link up though when, when it is available um, so you can just get them fabricated as, as you please. And it would make it much easier than doing this because it's even though there's only six legs, it gets really confusing and kind of a bit messy. Um, so using just a little PCB, mount the two in that and then have legs off that, make it a little bit neater and um, a little bit more organized. So let's have a listen to this one, I reckon right about now. I think I've pretty much covered everything. Um, so I've just got a normal, it's probably what I usually sort of use. Well, it's, it's actually an MN42B, which is interesting. I can't remember the HFE off that one, uh, of that one offhand. Actually, no. Before we do it, let's get the DCA and measure what the gains are. So these are the what the transistors that I'm looking at. Let me bring you over here. The transistors that I'm looking at. Sorry, it's a pedal I've been working on lately, at the moment. Uh, these are SF SFT three hundred seven. And before you run off buying a whole bunch of SF SFT three hundred sevens. Just let me tell you that these are measuring not normal. Uh, they, I've actually got other SFT 307s, the reason I bought them, uh, other SFT 307s which measure all over the place from 60, lowest 50, 60, up to 180. That's why I bought them. But these ones, for some bizarre reason, the, ver the, the version of, of them um, is, they're very low. See, this one's 25. 25 HFE, and if we go down to leakage, we can see that that is 25 microamps. Um, so if you put two of those two, two of those together, you'd end up with 500 HFE and 500 uh, microamps, both a little bit too high. But they're all over the place in here. Some are 10, some are 20. You know, they're, they're all over the shop. Same with the same with the leakage. Leakage is about ratio of one to one. So if it's if it's 10 HFE, it's about 10 leakage that works out perfectly um, but these ones I think were a little bit high I think they were 15 and 15 so the HFE of this that you're going to hear will be around 300 so like I said you can get ideal devices by doing this just depends totally on the characteristics of the transistor um, but this particular example will be a very high gain Q2 just out of curiosity I thought you might like to hear what a very high gain um, Q2 sounds like um, uh, in a fuzz face. Doesn't sound like a fuzz face. I still think it sounds pretty good. It sounds a bit like a germanium distortion. It's just a bit different. Um, so yeah, you need to get the right um, the right um, transistors for the job. And of course, I was just thinking as I was talking then, I can just plug this straight in here and the DCA will measure it because there's no resistors or anything <clears throat> There's no resistors in the network or in the pair, so it shouldn't have a problem checking it. And it probably will say Darlington Germanium, perhaps. Nope, just says PMP Germanium. And it's actually 500, so that's actually really high. I actually thought it was a bit lower. could be a bit more of a... I did it a few months ago, which was the middle of winter, so it may have been a bit colder, but um, uh, there you go. And the leakage is a very acceptable 237 microamps. Um, so there you go. So it's 500 HFE, 237 uh, microamps of leakage. So let's have a listen to it, and um, I'll just check the bias of the pedal before we um, before I do this the sound demo because this is actually this is an old fuzz face PCB that I made. 
and I've got the um, collector resistor on there um, to to dial that in. And my prototype of the board's going to have another um, another resistor on it, and and I'm fairly certain that it's on the emitter, um, but I have to double check it. So between the collector and emitter um, bias, it's not directly on the emitter of the um, pair. Anyway, it's irrelevant at the at the moment. Like I said before, I haven't even tested it yet, so I won't go into details about that. Might do a separate video on the actual prototype PCB. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's have a listen to it now. So hopefully you got an idea of what you can and can't get away with. Those transistors you bought on eBay that you thought were rubbish, um, you might be able to might be able to sell some of them, and you'll end up with an, with ideal with uh, with an ideal set. You know, if this. With this PCB that I've got, um, you can put sockets in it and just play around with it and keep measuring until you get the right HFE, um, get the right pair and, and, and get the right HFE and you'll have an ideal set for your fuzz face, uh, which was made from transistors that were pretty much, you know, junk, I suppose, junk. Anyway, let's have a listen to this now um, and hear what this one's got to sound like. So 500 HFE, that's a massive HFE for Q2. Not even sure I'm gonna be able to bias that in properly, but we'll give it a crack. So there you go, 500 HFE. Still sounds very good. Um, doesn't like I said, doesn't sound like a fuzz face, but it sounds sounds great. It sounds like a germanium distortion, a bit more in probably in line with maybe a tone bender, but even more, even even more distortion and um, drive than uh, even a even a tone bender in my opinion. Um, so yeah, maybe like a super fuzz. I haven't heard too much of a super fuzz, but something like that perhaps. So there's a use for those. Those transistors that you don't have, those low gain ones um, that you thought you did your money on, you can you can make a uh, germanium set like this, or you could even design your own PCB, uh, your own fuzz face that actually utilizes um, low gain transistors. Um, you know, just some ideas. Anyway, thanks for watching um, as always, and I uh, hope you found it um, useful. If you did, you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it, and um, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.